Hi there, it's Vicki McCarthy from Aussie Stampers. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Today I have a little Aussie koala card for you with a little Aussie greeting. And he is made using the Kind Koala stamp set. I've watercolored him and I've changed the greeting to say, G'day, thinking of you. And I've also popped a little gum leaf in his hand. So start with some Mossy Meadow cardstock 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and a quarter inches. Then you're going to cut a leaf with the Bird Builder Punch. And then you're going to take some Hello Honey and use that as your layer. Cut to 5 and a half inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. And a watercolour paper piece will be 2 inches by 4 inches. You do need to use watercolour for this because we'll be colouring with the aqua brush. I'm also using the Simply Serif stamp set and the Kind Koala stamp set. Now I have taken the Simply Serif stamp set, this is it here, you can see how well it comes packaged, and I've used the uppercase letters G, D, A, Y, and I have already stamped them onto the imaging sheet of my stamp imaging so that I can position them onto the card. You can see I've put one letter in each corner. And so this is how I've masked the little stamp. I've taken off the flower and the tiny bit of stem between his top and bottom um, little paws there. And I've done it using sticky tape. Very easy, a very simple solution to masking your stamps. I had to cut that small piece with my paper snips to get it fine enough between his top and bottom paws. And I've just used two pieces of sticky tape over the top just to mask off the flower. So you can see those are the pieces that won't be inked. Use stays on for this project because it is watercolour paper and this is the right ink to be using on watercolour. So ink that up and all you really need to remember here is to take off that messy sticky, <laughs> sticky tape before you press it down. It would be quite a disaster if you forgot to take that off. So once that's off, just you can see there that I've masked those pieces. Just stamp that onto your watercolour paper. Now when you've stamped the main image down, now you can stamp the little word or the little greeting, G'day. And I think technically G'day is spelt with a space between the G and the D-A-Y, or sometimes it has uh, an apostrophe. I'm just going to leave a space today. So there's the G. And I'm lining it up so that the D is level with the G, with a little space between the two of them. And I'm stamping that down. And then when you greet somebody with the word G'day, your voice rises at the end of the, the sentence. There's a little inflection there. So I want the A and the Y to rise up away from the D as well. You'll see I'm putting them on a slant so they slope upwards which is kind of how the greeting sounds when you say it to somebody, putting the Y higher again and stamping that down. G'day, thinking of you. There's that little greeting. So you're going to need an aqua brush and I'm using Smoky Slate and Basic Grey Markers. I'm starting with the Basic Grey and I am going to colour this as I would with my Copic markers or with my blend abilities. I'm going to be colouring the darker colour first, the sh where the shadow would be. So I'm just shading under his little ears there. Then I'm going to take my aqua brush and a folded paper towel, get the aqua brush ready and then just start pulling the colour out. And I'm working on one ear at a time here. How simple is this? It's very simple colouring. So there's the ears done. And then with the face, again, I'm just putting some lines around the top and on the right-hand side because the light source for this little koala is coming from the left. And I'm just going to pull those colours out again. And work it around. And I'm going to work in where that colour, uh, sorry, the shadow is on the right-hand side. I'm just going to give that a little bit extra blending so that it will blend really well. And there's the little face blended. Cute. Now I'm coming in with the body again with the light coming from the left hand side. The shadow will be underneath 
and on his little backside there. So I'm going to actually put a little bit more around the edge there. That's it. Just give him a really solid shadow at the back. And same again. I'll bring it in so you can see a little better what I'm doing there. Just pull that colour out onto your watercolour paper. Now a really happy coincidence when I started colouring this little guy is that it actually has quite a blue tinge under the basic grey when you bleed it out like this onto the watercolour paper, which is the perfect colouring for a koala. That's exactly what they look like. They have a kind of a bluish grey tinge to their coat. So I was really thrilled with how easy this was, but what a good result it gave. Now I'm going to come in and just fill in his nose with the basic grey, just with some diagonal stripes. And if you look at the stamp, that's how the stamp is finished up as well. Now I'm bringing in the smoky slate to colour in the inside. And I'm just going to define his two cute little eyes as well, just with the smoky slate marker. And there he is, all finished. So when I had a look at my stamp, I realised that my Stazon probably needed to be re-inked. I had re-inked it just before I used it, but perhaps I hadn't put enough re-inker in there. So I'm just going and adding some extra um, definition to the writing. And to do this, I have a zig marker, which is 0, 1, or you could use a Copic multiliner. Anything that is a, a waterproof marker would do here in a very, very fine point. Um, the fine point of your stamp and write markers would be too thick. But if you have inked up your stays on really well, you're not going to need to do this step at all because it'll already be well defined. This is a good way to fix um, any stamping that you've done where the ink is starting to run out on your ink pad. Um, you can always go back with a very fine tip permanent marker and do exactly what I'm doing here. And that just gives it more definition and keeps it crisp. Now at this point you could really put anything in the little koala's paws there. You could, oh there's an exclamation mark going in. <laughs> I just hand drew that. Now green and gold are the Australian sports colours. So what better colours could I use than Mossy Meadow and Hello Honey? And I had the ribbons for both of those colours as well. So this is perfect. I'm going to cut those off a little bit longer than you need. I'm going to give you a really good tip on how to get perfectly straight ribbons when you're lining them up on a layering piece. You can see I've centred that on the grid paper, counting out the squares to make sure it's right in the centre. And I'll bring that out just to show you a little better. I'm taking my pen and I'm just marking on the grid paper where the edges of that square are so that it won't, if it does move, I can always put it back into place again. Counting down to where I want the ribbon to be on one side, counting down on the other, and the same from the bottom. I'm going to have a yellow ribbon at the top and the green ribbon at the bottom. And just checking that that's about where I want them to go before I commit. I'm going to slide them down the back of the Hello Honey piece, keeping it straight on a grid paper, and I'm going to use scotch tape or sticky tape to adhere these to the back. Now I have seen people adhere ribbon with snail but I really don't recommend it for long-term use. Um, it can ping off and spoil your project. The thing I recommend is to use sticky tape and this isn't going anywhere. It's really giving a firm hold. So I've lined it up really well. I also wanted to pop this layer up with dimensionals when I put it on the card so Putting this ribbon on with sticky tape gave it a really solid foundation. And you can see how perfectly straight that is. Now I'm popping some dimensionals on my watercolour piece and lining that up on the centre, again using the grid paper to help. Now I put it down first of all and you can see it's slightly off and I knew that because the grid paper was underneath it. Now let's pop his little gum leaf in his hands, this little eucalyptus leaf. So in order to attach this, I'm going to use some Tombow Multi. I'm only going to adhere those, those bottom leaves, not the top ones. So the two bottom leaves and the stem. Very tiny amounts of glue. With Tombow Multi adhesive, I always say to my stamp class, I say to them, less is more. You don't want it to squish out and spoil your project. 
and now it just needs to be adhered onto the layered piece and I want to pop it forward with those dimensionals. I'm going to put quite a few dimensionals on here. It's quite a heavy element and I want it to be nice and secure and I'm also going to put a couple of dimensionals in the center as well so that if it's popped into an envelope it won't get squashed. Line that up so that it's in the center of the card and I had a look at that and thought well that's really nice but it's very top heavy in the fact that there are several layers on the front so it needs a layering piece inside. So I cut a layering piece of very vanilla cardstock and I'm going to show you how I use snail. Right into the corners and if you had a silicone sheet this would be great for doing this as well. See the small amount I'm using? That gives a really firm hold and you don't have to waste snail. The edges won't flick up and it's really well adhered. So now it's weighted and balanced and there's your card finished. G'day, thinking of you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you love my little Aussie koala. Bye for now.